Good morning, Takahashi. Are you ready for another day of work? Sure thing, Hashimoto-san. I've been working for this company for three years. The person I was just talking to is my senpai, Ayana Hashimoto. I've been working with her on a project I was recently given. You're going to be leading this project, Takahashi. But if you ever need help with anything, just ask. Thank you. I'll be relying on your expertise. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to support you, I'll do it. No worries. Thank you so much. Hashimoto-san really is dependable. She's always supportive and kind. Plus, she's amazing at her job. So she's a real asset to the team. I first met her at the company's entrance ceremony. I have to hurry. I'm going to be late. But where's the hall for the entrance ceremony? When I was still new to the company, I got lost in the unfamiliar building. I had no clue where I was, even when I read the map. And without anybody nearby to ask directions for, I'd all but given up hope. Hey there. I haven't seen you around before. What's wrong? Are you one of the newbies? What are you doing here? The ceremony's about to start. Um, I'm trying to get to it, but I can't find the hall. I think I'm reading the map wrong or something. Oh, I see. You're lost. Um, yes. Unfortunately. The building is a bit complicated. It's no surprise you're lost. I often got lost too when I first got here. So, don't worry. I'll take you there myself. You do that? Well, it's not like I can just leave you here, is it? Thank you so much! Um... Uh... My name is Ayana Hashimoto. What's yours? I'm Toru Takahashi. Okay, got it. Shall we head for the hall then? Yes, please. That's how I first met her. Since we didn't exchange contacts or anything, I thought I'd never see her again. But as it turned out, I was placed in the same department as her. You're the guy from before! Hashimoto-san! So, we're in the same department. Thank you for helping me the other day. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be working together. It almost seems purposeful. Like it's fate. Fate? That's true. It does seem like a pretty big coincidence. I really am glad. I was hoping we'd meet each other again. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. It's nice to meet you again, too. We'll be working as colleagues from now on. I'm going to put you through a harsh training program, so you better be ready. Yes, ma'am. I'll be ready. Since then, she's taken such good care of me that I wouldn't be exaggerating to say she was the one that made me into who I am today. I was in love with a competent, kind, and cool Hashimoto-san. Although, it's not like I'll be acting on those feelings anytime soon. What are you staring off into space for? I'm sorry. I was just thinking about something. What on earth were you thinking about? That would be, uh... I couldn't very well say I was thinking about you, Hashimoto-san. <laughs> Never mind. But make sure it doesn't happen again. We have to make this project succeed, you know? Of course. Now, start getting these documents ready. It'll all be for nothing if we can't even get our client to sign the contract with us. I'm on it. I'll prepare them extra carefully. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let's do this. It's done. Hmm. Hmm. You've done well. It's very easy to read. You've placed the data so that the viewer can access it all at the same time. And the graphics are good too. It looks friendly and clear cut. Thank you very much. You really have grown up. Your accomplishments reflect well on me as a teacher, too. Well done, Takahashi! Thank you very much. I used the skills you taught me for most of it. You might as well be the maker. That's not true at all. You were the one who absorbed everything I taught you and made it your own. You should be proud of yourself. I'm flattered that you think so. Keep up the good work. Don't hold back. If there's anything you want to try your hand at, go for it. I'll back you up. Hashimoto-san. Thank you. I'll do my best. That's good. But make sure not to overwork yourself either. Well then, shall we go home now? If you want, we could go for dinner together. I'll pay. Really? That would be great. What do you want to eat? I'd like ramen. Perfect. 
I know a great ramen shop nearby. Let's go! Yes, please! The project went along smoothly. Hashimoto-san helped me whenever there was something I didn't know. And once everything was in place, we headed over to meet our client. I'm starting to feel nervous. Don't be. You can do this. Besides, you've prepared all the data properly, haven't you? I have, uh, but I'm still nervous. Stop worrying. You'll do fine. I've been with you all this time, so I should know. Hashimoto-san, thank you. I'll do my best. <laughs> I trust you. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Nice to meet you. I'm Mio Kudo. Huh? Mio? Why are you here? Is that you, Toto? It's been a long time. It has, but... But I didn't know you worked here. Yes, you did. I told you. Jeez, you never listen, do you? Don't you remember I told you I worked here? I'm sorry. I don't remember it at all. <sighs> You've never listened to me, even when we were kids. Sorry. I've gotten used to it, so it's fine, though. Um... Oh, I'm so sorry. Come on, Tordu. Get your head back in the game. We have a lot of catching up to do, so I'll call you later. Uh... Okay. I'm sorry, I'm being so rude. Oh, no, it's no problem. Now, to get down to business. What are the chances that Mia would be my client? Still, I shouldn't let my guard down, even if we are childhood friends. I have to concentrate on my presentation. The business meeting went exactly as planned, and we took the first step in getting the contract. But after the meeting ended, I'm glad it all went so well. This means we can finally proceed with our project. But why is Hashimoto-san looking so upset? Did I do something wrong? Takahashi, I'm glad the meeting went well. Thank you. But no matter how close you are with that client, that type of behavior won't do. Manners are important even among friends. Act properly when you're at the workplace. She's right. I shouldn't have behaved like that to a client, even if she's an old friend. I have to see myself more as the businessman that I am. I'm sorry. It's fine if you understand. Don't let it happen again. If you really want to talk, then do it after the meeting. I understand. I've got to do better from now on. At the next meeting... That'll be all for today. Is there anything you'd like to discuss further? No, thank you. I have nothing further to add. Thank you for your time. Well then, time to go home, Takahashi. Sure thing. How about we go to dinner? Hey, Toru, wait a minute. What's up? Replied to my messages already. I've been waiting. Sorry, it just slipped my mind. You really are a scatterbrain, Toru. Sorry. It's all right. Anyway, come over to my house again sometime. I'll make you a hot dinner or something. Oh, and let's have another overnight gaming party. I bought the latest version of that game, too. For real? You're on! I won't let you sleep until you clear the last stage. Okay, then if either of us don't make it, we have to take a penalty. That's fine. I don't plan on losing. Okay, then. Make sure you reply to my messages this time. I will. I'll be waiting. Sure. Uh... I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Were you about to say something earlier? It's nothing. Let's go home. It's getting late. Huh? Okay... It's like Hashimoto-san gets depressed every time she comes to a meeting. Am I imagining things? What are you doing? Let's go. Oh, right! Sorry! The more the project went on, the more my workload grew. It was satisfying work, so I welcomed the busyness. But faced with an overwhelming amount, I started to feel panicked. If things go on like this, I might have to delay the next meeting. What should I do? Oh, right. It's times like these, I should talk to Hashimoto-san. Excuse me, Hashimoto-san. There's something I need to discuss with you. What is it? Well, it's about my workload recently. Oh, you can just do this like that. And we already have the data on that, so use it when you're preparing the documents. That should lessen your workload a little. 
Thank you so much. That's really helpful. I didn't do it for you. Make sure you don't fail. Hmm. I feel like Hashimoto-san is acting colder to me than usual. Or is it just me? Still, I seem to remember her teaching me a bit more kindly before. Does she think I'm useless because my work efficiency is lacking? <sighs> she used to have high hopes for me. Does this mean her hopes were misplaced? If I go on like this, she might not like me anymore. I can't have that! I've got to work even harder and make Hashimoto-san proud of me again! From the next day, I put all my energy into my work. I didn't stop for break time and tore through my assignments. I was the first to arrive at work and the last to leave. I was working like a maniac. One week passed. My... my head is spinning. My vision's getting kind of blurred too. I can't read the words on the page. Takahashi, can you hear me? Ah, uh, um... You've been staring off into space for a while. Are you all right? You have dark rings around your eyes too. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. If I give up now, she'd hate me for sure. I can't disappoint her more than I already have. Are you sure? Your complexion is terrible too. Haven't you noticed? You should go to the infirmary and lie down or take the rest of the day off. I... I can't do that! I have to do more! Takahashi? This is bad. I feel so dizzy from standing up so suddenly. Uh... Huh? Wait, Takahashi? Takahashi? I don't remember anything after that. Uh, uh... Where am I? What's going on? My hand's warm for some reason. What? Takahashi, were you working so hard because I was being called to you? That voice... Hashimoto-san? You've been working so incredibly hard lately. I knew you were pushing yourself too hard, but I couldn't stop you. It's probably because of my attitude, isn't it? <sighs> I hurt you with my own petty jealousy. I'm really sorry. Huh? Did you just say jealousy? Uh, Hashimoto-san? What do you mean by the word jealousy? T takahashi you're awake? I woke up just now. So what were you jealous about? To tell you the truth, I've been a little jealous of how you're so close with our client. Because I like you. Huh? Hashimoto-san? You like me? That's right. I've always been drawn to how you work so hard at everything you do. I don't believe it. I didn't have a clue. I did my best to keep you from knowing. But I guess I failed at that. I was trying to keep my private feelings apart from my work, but I couldn't do it at all. Instead, I lashed out at you with my petty jealousy. I'm the worst senpai ever. <sighs> I'm truly sorry. Um, Hashimoto-san, there's nothing going on between me and her. We're just close because we're childhood friends. Childhood friends? I thought you were a couple. Absolutely not. I can't see her as a woman. I've known her since I was a baby. Besides, she already has a boyfriend, and they're really close. Really? That's right. They're even engaged. I thought you were going out with her. I can't believe I made such a mistake. Oh, what have I done? But this means you'd love me so much you'd get so petty and irritable, right? Uh, well, since you put it that way, I like you. I like you so much, I don't know what to do with it. But what I did to you was still terrible of me. I'm so sorry. Please, don't apologize so much. It's adorable that you've acted like that out of love. Hashimoto-san, I've loved you for a long time. What? Really? I never even knew. <laughs> I was doing my best to hide it too. You're the only person I've loved, and the only person I'll ever love. So will you please be my girlfriend? Yes, of course! Once the misunderstandings had been solved, my health improved drastically. My illness probably had to do with mental exhaustion, as well as physical. Thanks to my mental health improving, my work efficiency rose again. It sounds too simple to be true, but that's exactly what happened. 
Naturally, the project was a big success. Hashimoto-san's and my reputations went up in the company thanks to the new business venues we'd made possible. Both our private and work lives were flourishing when... Neo-san looks so beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, Ayana-san. Uh, that's besides the point. Oh look, they're throwing the bouquet. Let's go. Maybe we can catch it. I actually caught it! Then that means it's our turn next. I suppose so. I will make you happy. So will I, Ayana-san. I'll be waiting then. I love you, Tardu. I love you too, Ayana-san. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.